before you comment anything, no. All right, I am not in a sex dungeon. I'm in a basement. I'm not in a sex. Today we are listening to Travis Scott's Utopia. Finally, the last time this guy dropped an album, I was a 14-year-old. I was a I was going into my freshman year of high school. And now I'm going into my sophomore year of college. So it's going to be crazy listening to this after so much time my expectations for this are i'm not, I'm not gonna lie they're very high i'm expecting this to be at least a top three album from him it's not even the fact that i don't like when artists go on hiatus i don't think that's a bad thing but when you know you're like the up-and-coming rapper at the time people are, are expecting a follow-up and when you don't really do that um it's kind of crazy you know sure we've gotten features and everything like that but it's really been a minute since we've gotten a full body of work from this guy and yeah if you enjoy the video please uh, leave a subscribe if you want to be generous so yeah if you have any other hip-hop recommendations for me that you want to get into it's kind of like my genre but uh, I will be down to check out things I haven't heard so thank you for watching and let's get into it all right track number one is uh, hyena hyena okay Situation. We aren't at this time neither a good one Nor is it someone blessed It can change It can stay the same I can see I can make my claim Who's Hail. who's Derek Solman? Who's he hailing? Oh. Travis on this. It is shit is out of control. I'm driving through hell and I didn't brought snow. It's shining in here and I didn't brought go. I hear the sirens right out the chateau. Run me the info. No it's balding in my talk. I'm in my Esperanza. You know it's slamming water while we gotta fill the stands up. With slaps in the anthems. Poetic justice, I got you in all my stances. Put your model. Where you shall go. Kinda kinda mystic, I feel like. Oh. Like the leaves do trees, I finally home. My wife distressed them, that tis that sweat. We took them 35 to 1, like the shit roulette. Oh, that beg your pardon, we done lit up every set of total preach. I'm never finished. That's the same. When those least. drums come in, Mother Earth is pregnant for the third time. What? Y'all have knocked her up. I have tasted the maggots in the mind of the universe. I was not offended. Why does George Clinton love it all? That name sounds familiar. I don't know. I don't know who it is though. I love how that ended. It had to be Mike Dean. Uh, on the production, on the outro, had to be 100%. I was not expecting an intro like that. I feel like Travis Scott, for his intros, they, they usually tend to be like long, like, like long. So a kind of in and out sort of thing with that kind of production, I feel like we don't usually hear him on. I think it's kind of cool. I like the two little spoken words in the intro and the outro. I think it adds a kind of like a, like a where the fuck are we going? Like what are we talking about kind of thing? And I think it adds a lot of intrigue. But yeah, I, I like that song a lot. Track number two is Thank God featuring Casey. I won't doubt it. I won't. He won't mislead all his followers. Praying on the process. Mind and spirit. Feel like. Like I'm floating in my prime time. Did Kanye write these lyrics? Me and my bros, when the story gets told, it's gonna be BMF. This shit sound hard. Thank God I breathe tonight. Oh. Still no pressure. Thank God I breathe, cause shit I speak is what they need, I tell no lies, I'm still up top, I feel like I'm waiting for something to happen. The way we evolved and knocked down walls, this shit's outrageous, 
A quarterback calls, it don't like 12, except Tom Brady. Can short my stock, I still stack tall, you still can't trade me. You lose me, made the pages. You know what? I like that production there. I really, I do. I really do. I think that it, it kind of illustrates, you know, like he's falling into some kind of void here, like how he is on the album cover. It's very dark. It's very black. In terms of his rapping on that, I think it was, I don't want to call it underwhelming, but I felt like I was missing something a little bit, you know? I feel like the song uh, took too long to kind of like get into. Like we didn't really get into the song until the third verse. I, I did enjoy the segue a lot though. I did enjoy Casey, but honestly, I, I just thought that song was just pretty good to me. Track number three is Modern Jam featuring Tizo Touchdown. I'm ready for this shit. All right, Travis. Baby, please get off the gram. I like you better in the stands. I upgrade my only fan. This is so Kanye. It's not even. I'm levitating way off the knees. The way I make a jump, I make it hard to breathe. It's like. Oh, that's synth. I heard that. I got the formula like I own the race. I got the keys with me like I own the place. If these niggas on top, then I'm out of space. I'd rather spend it on you than on Uncle Sam. I'm sensing like Andre 3000. I don't know why, like Andre 3000 screaming. I kind of. songs do not transition yeah I, I i like that song but i uh, it was just so funny I, it just felt so much like kanye but it, i don't know i think he kind of developed into his own on the, his second verse but it's like on the first verse i really it really did feel like it but like nothing bad about it like i don't mind i don't mind influencing at, uh, sounds at all i don't, I don't really care I, I i thought tizo fit in great uh it but you know what it it's very bare bones i think the production of this album is you know slightly just kind of you know stripped back so far i don't know i think maybe things could change but i i think that that was kind of the vibe of that song not much other than drums i thought i thought the chorus was kind of interesting i don't know i think i'm gonna need to re-listen to that song in a car i think a car would be a good setting for that song all right track number four is my eyes featuring samfa and bon Iver. <laughs> Very dreamy. One thousand on my feet, stacks put it on my seat. Ten thousand on my eyes. Oh, FaceTime, fifty K, wonder why I'm storming off no race. You bought it by the bliss. I was sworn in by a kiss. With a new suit armor, new suit dimbo, take it a sauna. Give me the heat from a sleep in a armor. Cupid creep and sleep with a armor. Three ton and gave me teen, teen, teen. Still same for 18, teen, teen. We're going up and we're going up and down. I don't know what I think about it. Oh my god, his vocals, I can't. It's so like spatial. Just 
Tell me your tail, do you see the road? I'm out to my soul, a tell me the size Whenever the smoke clear out of my face And my picture perfect, or do I look fried? All of that green and yellow that drip from your eyes is telling, tell your demise I'm with to my side to push back the ceiling And push back the feelings up I'll put you on bus and take you around A couple of guys inside of the school I gave them the tools to get it off the ground They say they're the ones when you're by the condo smarter than least And I bought some more ice Cause I bought it and he made a cast on my dish And she never go cheat if I gave you a day in my life Right, he's still going life. I think I like loved that song I think I love that song. I feel like the progression of it was just so like neat. He spazzed on that second verse. Sanford was just placed. I I, I wish I heard more of him. I just feel like it fits so well in that. Bon Iver opening up too. Uh, I don't know. I feel like they all did their thing on that. To me, that was a perfect song. I can see why the pitch uh, kind of going up and down might not be for some people. But I think I personally enjoyed it. But I, I think I mainly enjoyed that song just because how hard he was going on that second leg of it okay track number five is god's country only one ain't watching it yeah waking up i see the light i've been drunk and it's all right i took the dry to clear my mental we took the whip but it's a bite you in God's country, not in Montgomery. Go Ted Bundy, then go Montgomery. home play Al Bundy. The car black, and you know it got a sky limit. I make need more spaces when we jam. In God's country with the fam. I like his singing coming out of here. Kind of a one and done verse there. Uh, I thought it was, I thought it was all right. I, I, I mean, I think it's probably the worst uh out of the five i've heard so far but not because of like it sounded bad or anything i just think that you could have easily thrown a feature in there like that could have went that could have added so much more to the song i feel like just having one verse on there is kind of crazy all right track six is sirens kind of feels like the first song a little bit Oh, these eight oh eight. Bow this evening. You never leave in. Clock out, we sneak in. All the demons need a reason. From 2 a.m. to 2 in the afternoon. It's a festival right in my room. Soon as the sun up, you know that we boom. Mary Puzzle, we out to get cool. We gon' have some more just before we out the boom. Bye. Now that's how they come with it inside. Now you'll be you, we gotta resize. This part of the verse is crazy, the production wise. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, this is so crazy. What? I thought we were going to Utopia. What makes you say this isn't Utopia? I mean, I don't know. Isn't it supposed to be some perfect destination? This is just your hotel room. Yeah, it looks perfect to me. I actually really did enjoy that song. I thought his rapping on it was really good. Especially like towards the end of both verses when the 808s just kind of switched up a little bit. It's like the rhythm that they were going and I, I enjoyed those a lot. He was playing with those vocal samples. He was fucking around with those. That was, that was pretty funny. I like that. All right. Track number seven is Meltdown featuring Drake. Teton, Teton, Teton. Teton like I got a cup of this shit. Teton like golf at a quarter to six. I love to fuck on a regular bitch. Famous hoes lame, but they stay on my dick. Heard your new joint is embarrassing shit. You talk to the cops on some embarrassing shit. Weapons, we got us some terrorist shit. Like TV producers, we we airing the shit. She, I told her I don't got no cash, and she said she go wait on a rack on some Arabic shit. I pull out a million to stare at the shit. My dick okay. just died. All right, guys, welcome to 
new game show. Uh, Drake just said the line. I told her I don't got no cash. And she said she could wait on a rack on some Arabic shit. Is that whack or not? I need to know. I, was that was that shit or was that good? <laughs> And they scared of the seven. After one three, then we turn up eleven. Keep the shit open like seven eleven. We at the house, I got seven in heaven. They think I'm satanic. I keep me a rebel. Let's show to your therapist. Papa is good. She ushered my way, then she started confessing. I'd happily like his calories. Find another flame out as me. Bitch, bitch. Oh, I like, I like this part of the beat. Nah, keep that going. I like that bass. I fuck a nigga, bitch, but she can't have a baby. Had a baby. I shoot your ass at Walmart like I'm a baby. Oh, boy, going light on messy. I go time. The baby will be making circus outside like it's Barnes Bailey. Mickey hanging on my side is like it's really hanging. She move her panties to the side. She want it raw and faded. Is you fuck? Is you fuck? I thought Drake did his thing. Uh, we don't really. I don't think I've heard a Drake verse like that. You know, I've listened to a lot of Drake in my lifetime, and he doesn't really whisper like that. I don't know if it was the production that was just kind of, like, underwhelming for me on that song, because I feel like they could have done more with it, especially during the beat switch. I feel like the beat switched here, but the it didn't really, the beat didn't get better, you know what I mean? It just kind of took a different direction. But yeah, you know what? I, I thought that song was really good. Uh, I gotta listen to this, not in the basement. Track number eight. I'm gonna say that's pronounced fine, uh, featuring Cardi. Cardi verse, I know people are going crazy over that, and uh, Sheck West. Definitely Cardi, I can hear him on it. Get your life, Fiend, it's not fine. The fuck am I saying? Flying out of town for some peace of mind. It's like always, they just want a peace of mind. I've been focused on the future, never on right now. But I'm sipping, I can boot you either pick or brown. In the night, come a light. Ain't a sneak. Ain't it? Ain't it? Hold up. Ask me if I'm my shit. Get it live. Hold up. Shit. Try to come around at this shit. If I'm in your ties. Hold up. Shit. Hunt around. It's a scam on scene to be driven my hoes. Just holding out the left side. I got these hoes on their toes. I put the bitch on the road. She trying to fuck on the old. I got this hoe with me. She trying to show me some. Everything hit. Everything. Everything. I think over time, uh, the chorus just being fiend, it's gonna, I don't know if it's gonna get annoying, it's either gonna grow on me or I'm not, it's not gonna grow way off me. But I, I thought it was pretty cool. I like the little synth arpeggio that was kind of playing in between. I thought Cardi's verse was hella short. I was, I was gonna be so mad, but I mean, luckily we had longer. And w when his verse started, I swore to God, I thought it was future. I swear to God, I was like, where's Cardi? But I mean, it's cool, you know, we got, we got, we got, a, we got a deep voice Cardi now. You know, we got a, we got a new voice. But yeah, I thought Travis did, did his thing. I didn't hear Shaq West at all. I don't know where he was. Track number nine is Del Resto. This says it's a Beyonce and Travis Scott song. So I guess it's a collab song. I don't know. Featuring Bon Iver. Let's get into it. <laughs> I don't 
think that they entirely complement each other vocal wise. I did enjoy Beyonce's verse on the later half of the song. Uh, but you know, on the first verse where Travis started like kind of come into, I was like, nah, 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 get, get that shit out of here. And I liked Bon Iver's vocals on, you know, towards the end of the song. But I don't know, the whole thing just kind of felt a little bit awkward to me. All right, track number seven is I Know. Seven? Why did I say seven? Track number 10. Kind of a scary, sad piano. I, li I kind of like it. Tell me, is you still love? It's 5 a.m. and I'm drunk right now. Tell me, can we still fuck? One on one, I'm in the zone right now. Tell me, am I still? I thought that song was good. I mean, I like this flow on that a lot, but I just I just don't think it's like extravagant. Like when I think of like Astro World and Rodeo, I think of like some crazy shit. But I mean, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably listen to that another like five to ten times. But like overall, like okay, track number eleven is Topia Twins. When bitches sapping up a jet ski. It's a long jet ski. It's what if they twins and they saw needs, but they won't fuck us both. Why yeah. would she want to suck our toes? I'm trying to make her come. Told her throw it back and put that pussy on me. Yeah. Told her sit it on his dick. I took the glizzy on me. And you know this life been black. I hate her. Fuck her like I love her. Like I, love. I be stunned like my dad. I'm from New Orleans Project. New Orleans Project. Yeah. yeah. I like the back and Since forth. Uh, twin bitches sapping up a jet ski. Perfect. Twin bitches, twin, twin, twin drapes. Twin Glock, twin jet, twin. Try the planes, I don't ride prop, slow stroke. Yeah. Perfect. From the back, I've been drinking water. I knew he was gonna come in like that. Rocking land vans when I step on niggas' blocks. Oh God. Need a dealer license, all these cars I didn't cop. They keep looking for a head, but it's going down like job. Twin, oh. twin bitches sopping up a jet ski. It's not electric, this shit gassed up. Can you catch it? The Virgin Jet Ski 150, check the leverage. Got two twins, they top tier, that's my favorite fetish. Deep in the throat, till she tear, I'm a favorite beverage. And she tryna ride me like a wave, I'm a drum drum. She says she like the way the soul chop and make a bounce. Bounce, she from the west, but when she with me, she from down south. Blue. Twin bitches, yeah. twin bitches sopping up a jet ski. What? It just ended. It did. It, it, that did not end properly. I thought it was good. I thought that was good. I thought I liked Rob 41's verse 49. I liked how him and Travis were going, kind of going back and forth. I thought 21 did his thing. Uh, I liked Travis's last verse. Just a good song overall. And I swear to God, I knew I, I knew that they were gonna bring 21 in like that. I knew I knew that they were gonna do it. I thought the chorus was like just okay. But like you know what? I'll, I'll I'll move past it. Track number 12 is Circus Maximus. I think that that's the name of the movie that he, he has for this album, featuring The Weeknd and Sway Lee. Unreal, what is this? God gave me strength. Are these the front row seats you wanted? We'll have our final moment. This is Black Skinhead. The weekend on this? I don't know. Okay. I, I like his vocals. Oh. I'm waiting in an echo. I'm waiting. 
I love his vocals here. kind of um, curious about all the spontaneous endings that these songs have. I love that song. I love the end of that because at first I was like, oh, where is another weekend verse? Because, I mean, we didn't even get one. But that long, you know, winded kind of synth outro playing with the uh, drums that were kind of straight out of Black Skinhead. I like that a lot. Uh, you could tell it's uh, maybe that part is Mike Dean. Maybe it's Travis. I don't know. I like Travis's verse. I mean, he just kept going. Like, I, I just love the long verses from him. I thought his vocals were mixed really well into that, too. Number 13 is Paracel featuring Young Lean. I stand tall. I and fall. Dave Chappelle. I get up. Shading on the trees. Looking through a glass, watching by the bushes, waiting on a breeze. You was all I need. Don Tolliver, bro? Boy, I'm moving fast. This is a crazy, this mix is crazy. Oh, they're both like panning like crazy. It's weird. Shake out the mother, 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 mother. Live, we go. Live, we go. Rock show, we go. Pop, we go. Rock. They're waiting behind the car. Ryan Paris. I forgive myself. Kind of freaky. Had to fight for forever. Weary, wonder what you wanna do when you're not weary. I, I didn't think I, I would hear Dave Chappelle, Young Lean, Don Tolliver, and Travis in one song. I thought that was pretty meaningful. Maybe the most meaningful song on here yet just by Dave's talking. And I thought it was a cool little interlude. If I had to compare it to any like small interludes, maybe I'd, I'd compare it to Skeletons or maybe R.I.P. Screw. It was definitely a very vulnerable track for Travis to make probably. I feel like Young Lean added a little bit of a mysterious kind of aspect to it with this kind of phoned in distortion sounded kind of vocals. Yeah, I mean, I like what they did there. Track number 14 is Schizo featuring Young Thug. Bitty me, I move at night when they really can't see me. I ran it back last time, but it ain't like last time. I got so much around the house, I had to hide mine. Those off the dogs out the kennel, watching with the skull off. With the heat talk, watch you burn your soul off. I took them out of office, now they work for me now. I took her out the background, she played the lead now. She get it up, she gon' bounce it like a trampoline. Keep up with swag, she be fresh yep. than a man again. All type of bags in the closet like she married me. Man, you are not Kanye, bro. I'm in Cabo, I'm in Dennis Adios, trying to balance all these up and downs, but I keep popping lows. Man, it is what it is. That's just how it goes. Period session, I just kept progressing, finally find the flow. If the answer's down there with the devil, I may never know. Side, got long horns in my back, y'all bitch, I'm a lone star. The drop top came with the top, I cut the dome apart. My brody keep a stainless, there still ain't no chrome, hot. I cut some off, I had to better myself. I guess the eyes I bet on myself. There's so many. Like a third beat switch. And you ain't gotta take it from me. I'm advising for real. Damn. 
you know, for the longest song in the album, I thought that we were going to get more from Thug on that, seeing that he was featured on, you know, a six minute song. But Travis really kind of took that for himself. I mean, respectfully so. I mean, it is his song. And the beat just kind of kept going in all different directions. I think Travis really showed that he could be incredibly dynamic, uh, especially on that song. I, I thought it was really good. Track number 15 is Lost Forever. Uh, I believe that this is the West Side Gun song. Have you ever been lost? Lost on islands, driven in both cars. Just bring your girl, feel like she both fires. Young black nigga worked at the oceans. So how we here, trapped on the ocean? About to go up a level of disrespectful. I'm just one chain away from going heavy metal. Don't you know you in the Afalu? How many chickens fit in the coop? It's so good. It's so good. I'm sorry. It's so good. I think a lot of people that knew about this album have heard Lost Forever Travis on that before. Yeah, it definitely lived up to my expectations of the leak. Uh, I thought West Side Gun's verse was incredible, and I'm glad that Travis came back in for one more. Yeah, I mean, it's everything I was expecting it to be. I, I've heard the leak before from the first verse, so I mean... I'm just glad it's finally out. Okay, track number 16 is Love. I get it, I get it, I get it, love. They love me, they love me, love me long time. I get it, I get it, I get it, love. They love me, they love me, love me long time. They love out of this rock, they love in the jock. No Wi Fi, we got spot and connect to the block. Rolling through the club, we feeling the love. Come and kick back with us. This is new religion. Come and have mass with us. Tell me how you made love to a bachelor turning bad. So they used to grow up in the back of us. Come take a rap drunk something trying to find my keys. I find myself looking down at the stars that be. Your stars align. Remember when was Ramadan? I try a line. I try some crime. I try to dime. But now it's time. Maybe now it's time. Na -na 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 -na. I hate this chorus. I'm gonna be honest, I hate this chorus. The night is young and the love in the air hit me. Follow all the vibes of an every city. Gamble with your life. Think about it, what it tell your homie to the night. You don't want it with him. We raise our glasses, the madness, the tiny was to ask. Just dance in the trances. Baby, since you ready, we about to find out. To be mad at the good and found out. We get it. So we can pair a strong road with it. Diamonds always doesn't know bulls. Let's see a black guy on the job. Yeah, I'm so winning. I actually liked his verse a lot. I thought Cuddy did really good on that. I thought Chavez did good too. I just hated that chorus. I really did not like that chorus. That was just so annoying. I don't know why. All right, uh, we're skipping K-pop because I already listened to that shit. I'm not doing it again. Track number 18 is Telekinesis featuring Future and SZA. I already know that this is going to be toxic. Used to want to be rich and finally happen. Thought it made me happen. Thought it made me happen. I could have took pain and it I sounds familiar. I feel like this is a leak. Take your more drugs out alone in a mansion. Walking around tweaking with that yap in my hand. Just another pro code, just preach for these bands. I can see the future is looking. I've heard this before. I've heard this before. I can't the way it sounds. 
she chose her, put on the stroke, now she's lottery. Places I thought I'd never go, I found models in. I hear the demons clear when they call it. Fights on the nurse, my favorite song. Name myself, tell them for this hot take, cause they ain't got the act of it. I'm trying to be modest, you sound like I'm bragging. Cardi, you're my friend. All because my fame, bitch, that she ashamed to love me in public, rather go privacy. Now, to the trumpets, do you like the way it sounds? Sound, 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 sound. I can get it. Yeah, in my opinion, that's the best song yet. No doubt. That's the best song yet. Uh, just f I've heard that chorus before. I think it's a Kanye leak, but I could never imagine Future on that song. And Scissor's verse was crazy, too. And everyone just did their shit, man. And it was just, I don't know. That was just a crazy six minutes. And when those trumpets came in after he said that they were going to come in, I, I w that's, that shit was just perfect. Track number 19, the, the final song is Till Further Notice featuring 21 and James Blake. 21 Savage on the outro, that's kind of, that's interesting. Where we go now, now that you're done with me, I don't blame you for even Metro! Like the covers come off in the heat. We don't have to love I don't really fall in love with women, man, cause love hurt. I hit a couple bras, I can't lie, I put my dick first. Now you running around playing payback and that shit hurt. I should've treated you bad, Damn, bro. I used to deal with lines till she ran into a step of... Is he talking about Kylie? I don't know. I like this last verse, man. care he did i like travis's verse uh i honestly don't feel like 21 needed to be on that but i i still enjoyed his feature but i i did enjoy travis's verse really emotional i was not expecting the album to kind of end on a dark note like that i apologize for these genius ads by the way but yeah as the closer i don't know i'm kind of left wanting more not that i like enjoyed it a shit ton like even though i've been sitting here for like way over an hour I, it still feels like it ended abruptly i don't know why but in my head i just kept comparing this whole project to Astroworld. I don't know if it like if it's making me realize that Astroworld might be his best album, but like when all the features just started coming in and everything like that, I, I was just kind of comparing them to Astroworld's features and all I could do was like not see this project for its own thing, which is something that I think I need to work on. Overall though, I thought it was good, but like I I'm not going to lie, did it live up to the expectations? No. No, not at all. I think I needed at least eight or nine more Cardi features for this to like, I think my biggest thing that I like about this album is just the change in production. I feel like we're going into a lot of different places, but I don't think it's as crazy as like Rodeo or, or any of his past albums before that. But I think it's just, I don't know. It's, it's very, it's a very dark sort of album i think the album cover is very fitting for it i mean it's just kind of it feels a little bit like a void overall though i think production wise i think there's a lot of 
Kanye influence. I wouldn't necessarily say Yeezus, uh, but I think just his personality on a lot of these songs kind of mimic Yeezy too. But I don't think it's, I mean, that experimental. But I'm just trying to like find a theme within this. I mean, I know it's Utopia. Astro Girl kind of had that, um, you know, theme park theme to it. You know, you felt like you were on a roller coaster and everything like that. And I'm so sorry, I keep comparing this to Azure World, but this album feels very kind of isolated within itself. Each song kind of being separated from the other one very, very strictly. I mean, within each song just kind of ends. It doesn't even transition in, into each other properly. It felt like if it had a very clear structure to it. And maybe I should watch the movie to kind of grasp this album better and i think maybe i'll do that if i can uh pull it up on my phone because i'm not going to watch a travis scott movie in theaters i'm not doing that shit but um i think my thoughts on this guy's albums is that over time i think nostalgia will play a big factor i think the big thing about this is that it's gonna take some time for me to decide how much i like this album and by time i mean it i mean i maybe at least six months for me to honestly get a good opinion on this because i could say i like these songs and then just not listen to it ever again and i think replay value when it comes to these songs is kind of huge when it comes to travis's music so yeah we're gonna see how time plays a role in this uh for now i think it's pretty good favorite song has to be telekinesis i think some close seconds are the intro track uh my eyes so yeah overall i thought this was a pretty good album i do feel like there is some missing aspects to it but maybe i'll find them later on in the listening process so thank you for watching uh, if you enjoyed, please support the channel and I will catch you later. Thank you.